player rules that every man needs to set with their group of friends. These are rules that me and my homeboys all follow and we don't break. This is how we keep the integrity and the strength of our friendship. And this is also how we are able to be successful with women while we're in a group. You guys might want to tag your homeboys in this fucking video because I'm about to go in. This is in no order of importance. Now the first rule is never ever clown your homeboys in front of women. This is a very ungenuine thing to do. It's okay to clown each other when it's just y'all, but when y'all around females, you should never do that. What's gonna happen is you're gonna clown your homeboy. Now because you clowned him in front of a female, he's gonna feel like he has to clown you back. And now y'all gonna be too focused on clowning each other than being focused on the females that's in y'all presence. And the females is gonna lose respect for y'all for doing that, and then none of y'all gonna get the women. Now number two, don't try to be the big man. Don't be trying to boss your mans around and trying to make dudes run to the store and buy you shit, man. Don't do that shit. If you're really the big man, the females are gonna find that out without you trying to have to be the big man. Don't do that shit. Now, number three, always have your homeboys back. Now, what I mean by have your homeboys back is don't be letting women talk about your homeboy. Look, I don't give a fuck how weird he is. I don't give a fuck how stupid he is. I don't give a fuck how ugly he is. You don't let no women talk about your homeboys. Women do that shit. We don't do that shit. If he weird or ugly or whatever, it don't matter. You let him into the group, he's in your group, you have his back. I've almost kicked bras out for talking shit up behind my homeboy's back or trying to gang up on him. I don't play that shit. My friendship with my homeboys is more important than a piece of vagina. Now, number four, do not check your homeboys in front of females. Now, if he did some stupid shit and you had his back for him, when y'all get away from females, that's when you tell him how fucking stupid he really is. Now, number five, take turns taking L's. What I mean by this is you're not always gonna be able to get the pretty woman that's in the group. It might be an ugly woman sometimes in that group and you're gonna have to take turns taking L's with the ugly women. This is very important because selfish friends never win. Number six, this is so fucking important. When y'all out and y'all trying to talk to women, if your homeboy gets dubbed, you never fucking laugh at him for getting dubbed. You pick that man back up and say, man, fuck those bras, let's go get some more. Why would you put your boy's self-esteem down and have everybody else scared to go and approach women now because they afraid you gonna laugh at them? Now, none of y'all getting women. Number seven, which probably should be number one to me, is never fall out over no bra. Number eight, kick anybody out who doesn't follow these rules because y'all won't have a good friendship and y'all won't be good with women. These rules seem like common sense, but they're really not. When you follow these rules, you will see how it impacts your friendship with your friends in a great way. Get my ebook for texting advice, man. Deuce.